They're like, hell no, and they just drive away, as does Benito. Nope, he says, let's fight it out. So they do. They're going to go ahead and they make their landing. They jump out of the UAV next to the escape UAV. What they've done is locked out the ability for their opposing team to escape in a car. They're going to have to force the fight. They want the fight. It's five going prone here, hiding out made the jump over so now the three are staring across at the four i are serious in this tough situation as well as he's going to go ahead and try to get some vision to go ahead and take the shot he gets hit in the head instead gets the aim oh can't get it off you know he wants it so bad he's doing the peak nice lean a lot of back and forth come me the headshot baby give it to me nothing didn't do anything. These guys are here. He's got a nice scope. He's playing the berm. The problem is they are out of time. The blue circle is going to be moving on by. 22 seconds left. They've got to make a decision to play or to flee. This is one of the harder decisions at this stage of the game. They've got a long way to go, and they don't have a ton of vehicles lying around that I am aware of. The fight continues. Oh, that's almost the headshot. He gets it. He gets it. Doesn't get the headshot, but he does do some serious damage. Some deaths and some knockouts, but nothing crazy just yet. Uh-oh. Take that back. Run, Dacia, run. The prayers and hopes as they suck in the blue. They're just trying to get out of it, but oh, the knockout outside. The guys, what can you do? Your friends have to leave. Beautiful plays by Miskudix right now as he is just taking them apart. Mescu and his team of three are obliterating this guys and taking zero damage. I'm not even sure Enrico and his crew know where they are. Look at this. Ruby doesn't even care about cover. Ruby's like, I don't even believe that they can shoot me. I am a golden god. I think that was a direct quote here. Look at him pushing forward. He's waiting for his chance to try to finish the job. They do know the next circle is very far away, though. So Uh-oh. Here we go. So Wizard Tower thinking about taking shots at UAV. UAV's coming in two and two. The shots from Wizard Tower, they know where they are now. The guys from North Camp very smartly just stay still. They hit the house. They hit the house. They got eradicated. Oh, my God. It's a massacre. They completely tear it apart. Get the kill on one. Get the kill on two. Wizard Tower wipes out an entire squad. And then, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They get a free gift. They're not sure how to get there, but they're, uh, they have the backs. So they take the shot. They miss. They hit the rocks around Maniaco. He's taking hits, though. He's taking a lot of hits, and the jump comes out. So we've lost one. We've lost two. They clear them. They got Maniac down, but they can get him back up. He doesn't see him yet. There it is. They were looking the wrong way. One knockout. Can he get the second? Two knockouts. Make it three. No, he goes for the kill and ends up giving his own life. Oh, you can't just go for the kill. You got to make it happen. Oh. Blow my nose there, I got all excited. Now here's the try to play. Benito's going around the outside. El Patty waiting. Fab's looking high. Oh, Benito tries to make a clever play. And he will get lit up with no help from Elion. He can't do anything. They did not push the split with enough timing. Patty taking damage from behind. Elion goes down, but not even to the guys that he was fighting. He dies to the foursome. And that's going to leave Patty and Trap in a very sad situation. Both at half health. Both staring down the barrel of a squad. Meanwhile. As they go around, they've got the silenced ARs doing a push uphill. Patty and Potato doing what they can. This is their moment to shine, but the blue is coming. They may just die to fall at this stage of the game. Patty Potato goes down outside of blue. Fap to Clap is down as well. And that is all she wrote. Congratulations to Ja Shores, player Benny, and the king as Ja Ja wins a straight up MVP in this match. Coming out. Check in on that. Fight inside, trying to get there to help out. Look at this. Finishes the job, decides not to stop. You gotta be careful there. Pull up the thing so we can see their health bars because it's about to get real messy as they walk into an ambush from three sides. Immediately, it's five is taken down. Benito, Elian run for the tree. King 2v1 goes prone. He gets locked as well. Elian and Benito start to scream. I don't know where they're shooting us from. What do we do? What do we do? Death. Death comes to us all, Oroku Saki, but for you it came because you didn't expect the water town. Fight PTFO and team player dead objects. They push forward. This is the third circle, if my memory serves me correctly. So there's a left damage. They're not willing to stand inside of it. Little bear cub. Majex also about to take some damage, and immediately they might actually win this fight. Team player in some trouble. They do. Four go down. Now they're going to heal aggressively, jump in the car, and get the hell out of Dodge. They lost one, got the pair package, and somehow took out a squad of four who had a supreme position advantage. About to be a fight, baby. Down they shoot. They're going CQC. Immediately opens up Rock Raider. Shy Guy goes down. 
Fi takes out Sevens. Rockerino down as well. That's two for two. Two for one. Oryx doing the split. Finds Fine. Fine goes down. DZ, the last hope, wants to make a push. Pray for something to work. Is it going to? No. Eradication destination is Ander and the crew get a beautiful set of kills. A man by himself in this position. He sees L. They take him out. Shots. Shots. There's the smoke to buy some time. Is it going to work? They know where Jaja is. They're shooting up at him. Jaja's got to try to take this thing home. Ben is dying underwater. Someone can res him if they get under there. Jaja opens for the low. Goes for Enrico. Enrico sees him. Pulls a grenade, but not soon enough. He goes down. They can finish the job if they push to the high. King, the last man standing, wants to try to make this happen. They're going to just back away. They know the blue is coming. They're going to allow them all to die. The king is going to tick away little by little. The king is praying. He wants to make the play. This is his big chance. Can he do it? Can he at least take one man with him? As he pushes to the high ground, tries to beat the blue, now exposed, and the king has left the building as Chocolat, IR, and Enrico comfortably move in to their position. Now, that puts him at three. The bridge trolls are at two. And the high ground, the people with the best position in this map. Swipe, two men standing. The bridge trolls remain, but they've played the pacifist game and will die the way that the most of the pacifists do in second place. As Moliak doesn't have any options, He's just going to get shot inside of the water. Comes out, tries to pull his gun. Oryx, Twitch, they just come in and say, we're going to finish the job. Moliok resigned to death, ends up going down, and that is all she wrote. Phenomenal game. Oryx, Hayes, and the crew are coming in 11-2. He's desperate for it. Sarah in a little bit of trouble. Is Taki. Let's take a look at his perspective. It's just trying to peek the tree and avoid the headshots while he does so as he now tries to get himself a kill. He's putting in some work. He was basically playing the bait game. Cheese balls on the wraparound. Arts taking the shots. Cheese pushing in as well. They've got Arts from two sides. Dank is way on the outside is where DSNK. Arts has nowhere to go. Cake has to fall back to the wizard tower. Cheese balls messing him up as Arts is knocked out. Cake is definitely out playing getting just wrecked especially because of optics right now he doesn't have a lot of options meanwhile cheese balls wants to push he's got it in his head that he wants to kill this man and he's gonna do so he knows exactly where he is here comes the push Taki to one side cheese to the other hardcore makes the jump first spot Taki cake boom goes the dynamite down goes it's Taki or it goes cake is it's Taki gets the shot a nice sweeping push by both and they will do a push up they're gonna lap his three Pamino gets the call he moves now they decide to back off but he's unavailable to get through the hole he can't make the crouch jump so he has to go a long way ends up giving his life to Aquas who's up in a really good position on that third grab what that means they're gonna shoot him he takes out two Aquas is on fire as he's now got three down I art comes in from the other side they've worked out three they finish off one just a gas mask. So if they do get a good shot on him, it could very well be the end. Does a nice shot. Pulls the red dot. Goes in. Gets Palomino again. No one can show their face. They're freaking out. Feta is thinking about leaving. That's going to put him in exposed position. And he goes down again to Aquas. The second you move, Aquas finishes you. Knocked out another one. This Aquas is on fire right now. Let's, ooh, let's check in with these guys. We've got a bit of a fight breaking out on the berms. Back and forth. Oh, this area is wonderful to fight if you get the advantage position. They don't seem to have it. Yep, they're firing down. Mescu and his crew, they play a KG game, but that KG game is not going to come to be as Mike and Nord got the position on them. He's got that AR. He's got that silencer he loves so much. Takes the shots, gets it, but that grenade was just really well placed by Mike. Immediately, Mescu goes down. Ruby trying to do what he can do, but it's not going to be enough. I'm not really sure where they're taking fire from at this point. It might be Ryman. Yeah, they look like they got their sniper rifles out, and they are just popping them. Nord slain. Killed one tap from a distance. He's all the way over there. It's just really nice shooting by Nord. It's the Snipe Nation over here. Nord, look at this. Nord has such a beautiful mastery with this car. Like, they can't even stop him. Now, Nord's going for the walkout. What he wants to do is get the kills to secure the points. They are managing to res IR. They throw down the heals. The fire, oh god, he's under my camera, and they do manage to take out Chocolat. So Chocolat is off the map at this moment. And Rico goes down with a nice flank play. They don't have any options. So let's push in closer because we're gonna see a big fight break out very, very quickly. DJ comes forward, DJ goes down. He put a little bit of damage on Shy Guy and DZ. The rest of his team comes out, Bader and the crew. DZ's gotta reload and try to get this fight as they do the wraparound inside of the blue. Everybody's seeing a lot of damage. Rakino decides to grab a bike and just bounce. He, if he can find him, they don't know he's there. Now they hear him. 
They know something's up. They're waiting. The AKM is out. Jaw wants to play. He sees him. He makes the move. He gets him down. He turns the corner, finishes the job. He wants to go. He's going to go down now. They're going to finish him. But he manages to take out one. He's going to crawl for safety. But will he get out? He doesn't. So he ends up ultimately going just barely inside of it. They have what they need to win this match. Back and forth. The King and Shorts. They're going to have to make their move here in just a second. We'll watch the perspective of these gentlemen as they set up to take their fights. They light up. A little bit of friendly fire. The King goes down first. He's going to get massacred on the outside. Lots of smokes. Lots of prayers. Can they do it? Oryx Hayes trying to target out. He's got the 8x. He's now going to push. He wants to make the final play. He's got it in his heart. He goes. He gets the kill. And that's the end of it. Oryx Hayes gets 8